Greetings everyone, it's Grim here and I'm joined by the ever wonderful Cuddles. Hello. <laughs> That's not your usual intro. No, because you called me Cuddles. You didn't say who Go am I. I apologise. So I couldn't say, hey, it's Cuddles. Well, who are you? Sounds so rude. Who are you? Uh, it's Cuddles. <laughs> Yes, now we were going to do the August monthly roundup. <laughs> because we're late and not that great and professional. But then... They went and did this today. Damn you for giving us more juicy information. Juicy, juicy information. So yeah, we'll cover the monthly, the August monthly roundup in October. Gamescom, yeah, it was great. They showed us lots of stuff. Beta. Uh, beta, we all know it's coming out. Job done. They did a couple more animals. Hey, this is the end of the video. Yeah, that was it. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thanks for that. Bye. Okay, no, let's go. Let's go. What did they give us today? What juiciness have we had? Well, they did a live screen show thing. Middle of the afternoon for us here in Europe. They did? Yeah. And what they actually did was, um, well, they didn't tell us, but they revealed a ton more animals. They did? And they showed us a stunning new theme pack. Oh, my God. That Indian theme looks amazing. We're going to go into that in a bit more depth. In a we minute. are. But I suppose for some people, the new animals might be vaguely just important. Just a little bit, not just all about your theme building packs. <sighs> Go on then, hit me with the cuddles, what do we got? So, first one that became obvious in the clip yep. was the bed's tapia. Yeah, oh. With the little snouty nose. They're adorable bubbles. They're very cute. They are. Um, Now, we saw a mandrill. We did. Uh, They have a massive enclosure, absolutely amazing. They're a monkey. Do you know, I actually didn't know they were a monkey. When I saw them on The Lion King, I assumed that they were actually kind of, I don't know, an ape gorilla -y kind of thing. Yeah, they're just, yes. But they're a monkey. I, yeah, I... I and gotta, this is the first monkey. I'm going to be uncouth. I know everybody, you know, goes into the species and what they are, but I just remember them as the big bum things. Aren't the, they the ones... The purple ones. Yeah, the, the blue ones. The ones that Attenborough always sounds... They're going up and here is it? I think that's a baboon. While they're showing their bums. It's all I of, don't know. This one did it as anyway, well. Anyway, okay. So, they showed those. Uh, we saw the pronged horn antelopes. They were the oh, really cute and fluffy ones cute. with massive eyes. Yeah. Very anime eyes. <laughs> Let's not go down the anime road with these animals. Okay. Um, they also showed us, now, excuse my pronunciation. Go for it. You do it better than me. A gorilla? Is that how you say it? Basically, it looked like a crocodile with a great big bulbous thing on the end of its nose. Yeah, look, I just wanted to get a pin and just... Pop yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to appreciate that. I don't think I'd want to get that close. Also, honestly. apparently, it's part of its mating ritual, so it might try and mate with you. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if the world is ready for a grim Gary hybrid. No, I, I don't think it's it is. It's not called Gary. What was it? Uh, Gareel. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the world's ready for that. Okay. Um, other things that have actually been released today, because, of course, um, the lucky people that got to go to Gamescom yes. also had a chance, apparently, to play this scenario. An hour-long play session. And they all dropped all their footage today. They so, did. They did. <laughs> well they done, did. guys. Yeah. Yep. Fair play to you. Now, things have been spotted both in that and also in the playthrough. Now, one of the things that's actually in the actual Planet Zoo playthrough, the official one, um, they give out... Now, again, I'm probably going to say this wrong. Bactrian Camel? Bravo. I don't think it's bacterian because I think that'd be mouldy. And it's not bactine. And I don't think it's bactine. No. no. So it's a two-humped camel. There we go. We'll go with that. Yep. Um, now I think I saw we ages ago. There was somebody did a close-up of some footage, and everyone was like, "That's a camel. That's a camel. It's a camel. It's a camel." And there was so much people were like, "No, it's a rhino's backside. No, it's an antelope." I actually think that the general consensus was correct. It was a camel. If I may say, you are an unfortunate camel if you are confused for a rhino's backside. Yeah, or, you know, an antelope. You're not blessed in life. No, but it? anyway, it, we have a camel, which is good. I like camels. No, I, I think camels They spit good. at people. That's why you like them? Yeah. Okay, fair. Uh, they, they're an animal that talks their own mind. I like the fact that what we've picked out from these animals is that one has a bum and one spits at people. All right, so others, <laughs> okay, that I think have come more from um, other lucky lo uh, lucky YouTubers. You try and say that fast. I'm, I'm not even going to um, attempt that. Other lucky YouTubers channels. Bravo. Um, is uh, the Goliath Frog. Oh, yes. Big, I've big seen toady -like snippets thing. of that on the planet yep. Zoo Reddit. And Scorpion of some sort. I haven't even seen a picture of that yet. No. No. Um, 
I think I saw something on Facebook earlier, I, but I'm I not sure. Whispered tales. I'm pretty sure there was a picture on the uh, the the community Facebook earlier. Oh, cool. Um, because those guys, I swear to God, they're as fast getting in. Oh, they are on it. I was in work. Yep. You weren't keeping up with them. Oh no, God no, no, no not no. even close. Those guys are amazing. Yep, Just they are saying awesome. that. Oh, hi guys. Hello. Um, right. So another thing that actually we knew it was there. Yeah. But you've actually spotted it in the Planet Zoo's in Frontier Zone video, haven't you? What did I notice? You spotted the Himalayan brown bear. Yes. Not I'm... that you'd have known it was one, but no, you spotted the bear. No, only, yeah, basically they, when they were showing their new overlay system, which we can transition yeah, into. Yeah, great transition. See the professionality. Uh, see, see, we're getting there, yeah, slowly yeah. but surely. Yeah. So on the transitions, on the transitions, see, I lost the professionalism, didn't I? I dun, lost, dun, I tried. Dun, dun, dun. On the overlays, they had the thermal overlay, and they were showing there was a big it's an Indian map, so it's obviously all lit up bright orange because it was very warm. But right down the bottom of the, I can try and get the the video to show what I'm talking about. Down the bottom of the heat map, it showed a white area, and then eventually you see this big blue blob walking through the and cold it's a, area, it's a bear. and that's the Himalayan bear. We didn't get any footage of it actually sat there doing anything i think however best in slot or something like that has actually gone in and they've oh i've, been I've seen it. pictures of yeah. it now but as in i didn't see any in uh, their footage there was, there's lots on facebook but that we actually saw it in their footage because they don't mention the animals that they're dropping on us we have to guess what all these animals are well thankfully everyone kind of tells well, that's, us that's part of the fun of it i was, did a video the other day and i was talking about part of the fun used to be going into trailers and trying to pick trying out, to work all, it all out it's brilliant rather than just being hand fit to you it's part of the fun it's part of the world of geekdom so we were transitioning really well we into were. the overlays because uh, I get a sneaky suspicion that part of the purpose of today's live footage was to show everyone how to fix a zoo. Yeah, I think it was a clean up from sort of Gamescom. Gamescom, yeah. they sort of handed it to, to people like us. To gamers that were going to go in and, oh god, a rhino's and loose everything. and oh, there's a bear's loose. Oh. But they sort of they did a which not a lot of people saw I think after Gamescom or at the very end of Gamescom they did like a developers hour long stream session mm. and it was basically a, a quick version of what they've shown us today obviously not on the Indian map it was still on the same map but it was showing you how, how you know, if an animals got loose a vet needs to come along and this and that so I think they were just showing okay you saw all these things happen. Mm we're going to show you now how you would go about sorting those issues and how you would monitor those by with the heat maps so, they, so were, they were showing the overlay heat maps and uh i mean the average the ones that you expect the animal and guest happiness yep uh or needs i think it's, i think it's guest needs yep um dead obvious brilliant though great concept oh um, I, yeah. I think it's fantastic absolutely um, fantastic once your temperature which is how you spotted the little bear yeah, because it shows the temperature of the ground. So rather than the animals, it's actually the heat map of the entire area. Um, they are using the gorilla enclosure Yep. Um, to show off the water cleanliness. And it was interesting um, that they placed that water pump um, a little bit away from the enclosure. It only kind of its radius sort of half covered the enclosure. Yeah, but it still did all the water, still which is interesting. Now, I don't know whether that isn't just the magic of TV, because they sped that up quite a lot. Yeah, or... Yes, whether that's how it's going to be. I would imagine uh, uh, some license because there was the enclosure, there was a path, yeah. then there was a staff area where they put it. Yeah, because so, it was up a staff path, wasn't it? Yeah, if you're going to have to have all of these right next to an enclosure, I think it would be a little bit awkward. Now, um, there's another button on there that's power. We were, we were showing yep. that actually at Gamescom. Um, Very briefly, yep. we were showing it a couple of times so that people would click on the, the have you got enough power. Now you have an interesting observation from our deep dive look at this footage, haven't you? About yeah, power. when they did the fly through. Now we've all we've been told non-stop that if you have a generator or you have the water purifier, they call it. Yes. You have any of those near people walking around near your guests, they will freak out because they don't like the noise, they don't like seeing these things. They're big, ugly machines. They don't want to see it, and it will cause unhappiness in your guests. Now I'll pull the footage up so you guys can see it but as we go past you'll actually see to the left here there is a solar power generator it's, little, it's easy for me to say solar panel unit solar pa i was gonna say generator but oh, okay. there's a solar panel unit then there you go yeah. 
sat there and there's also one on the right hand side and they are right next to guest paths but i think that might be given over the clean eco message that's what i think i mean which is correct because i mean i know i personally might maybe look at a steel uh, uh, like a coal generator or a power you know electric generator giving out smoke or whatever it would do and smelling yep. like diesel fumes or something like that if i was walking past it i might sort of go hmm but if i i wouldn't even notice the solar panel anymore here's one and it's only just occurred to me but what if you could actually put a solar power generator or any generator on an upper floor of a building so you created like a they had the nice indian square buildings there mm. what if you put inside that you had a roof tile that you, or a flat roof that you sunk down midpoint and then on top of that you could put the generator i imagine on top you probably of that, you can put solar panel to keep it away from yeah. guests i don't know i've just well, literally these, just came to these me. are all gonna be things you're gonna be having to play with oh i'm so i'm so looking forward to the beta now looking going back to the overlays yep so there's some others there that they've not introduced us to yet and yeah there was a couple that we th haven't seen there's yet. one that's obviously a, a mortar board so that's education yep and i noticed on another screen that they were in that actually there was no education fulfillment in any of in none, that part no stars and i'm wondering if this is something that we've not been introduced to yet They've spoken very briefly, haven't they? I mean, we've all seen, and they spoke about it at uh, Gamescom, the boards outside each animal enclosure mm. where it's got the details of this is a bear, this is a tiger. And they've said that... That will the, develop. Yeah, and the education of the guests is as important as their enjoyment yeah. of seeing the animals. But I haven't heard anything mentioned to this. They've not gone into that in depth. No, not at all. Now, whether that's something still in development or whether it's one of those nice surprises we're going to get when the game drops. Yep. Um, there's another one there that's like a graph, and I was wondering if that was finance. That's my gut feeling would be it's marketing, be finance, loans, something like my that. My guess is that it's an overlay. You're probably mm. going to see if a shop is making a profit, then the shop will be green. Yeah. And if it's not, you know, so on and so forth. That would be my guess. And I quite like the idea of that because it's actually quite nice because in Planko, working out which shops are making, which areas are getting good footfall yeah. is actually quite difficult at times. Yeah. So I, I think that could be quite good. I mean, my management side of that will love that. Um, and there's another button there that well I keep thinking that it looks like a bath with a box on top <laughs> and you think it looks like a food it, bowl it with does, a shelter it looks like you? a shelter behind and then something in front so, whether so that's, either it's whether the poop man's been round or whether they've all got enough food or not it might yeah it might show staff mm. enclosure I don't know staff happiness maybe actually I wonder if there's a staff button as well yeah to see if staff are going to quit yeah because that'd be good if you could have a staff happiness overlay because then you can catch them before they walk out because then you've got to pay them that bung money to yeah, get them back in again yeah you get that I mean, well, you, you, you have get, to bribe them back you in you get 400 messages on the side of the screen yeah. you just don't click you know yeah well you don't Dave's click. about to leave and then Dave He's leaves unhappy. and then because really you've already given Dave five years worth of training yeah you want Dave back so you pay the hundred dollars oh you chased him out the gate and like, you look Dave, desperate what, what are you doing I mean, you do look desperate. Why did you never tell me you're unhappy? So I told you every day I'm unhappy. I'm like, well, I well, didn't know that. Well, I didn't realise that. Does Red really mean unhappy, yeah. Dave? Why don't you take this thousand pounds and come back to work? He's like, all right. All right. And then he's happy. And that's it. For about a month. And then he starts moaning again. I will say, if you're young, don't try that in real life. Your boss won't chase you and hand you oh, a thousand pounds. Oh, they really <laughs> won't. You tried that once, didn't you, Grimbles? Yes, that's why I work for myself in YouTube land. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Right. Now other bits and pieces that were in here yep. um so uh, before we move on to the creative and, and talking about that mm. absolutely stunning scenario so um the enrichment items they went into them in quite a bit of depth yeah um and one of the uh interesting points that they made was that they will bore of their yeah. items so that's cool because actually do see my okay me all right I'll just be like throw the lot in there because yep. then they're going to be happy but actually you can't what you need to do is make sure that you get them happy but hold back in reserve so you can swap out those items see and then I'm, I'm probably going too far on this but thinking if you've got a generation so generation A are in there you give them certain toys and they're playing with them and they're kind of getting bored and their kids come in so now you've got Ooh, the next so yeah. you almost have to stagger how you're doing it because the older ones may have played with it you know last week yeah and now they're bored of a cardboard box the but, younger ones a baby, cardboard box is amazing yeah. to them so i wonder if you have to or whether 
if you've got a cardboard box and a big ball in there, it's the fun. older ones yeah. just will be like, I've played with that ball. Oh, the box is really cool. Yeah. And but you know whether yeah. But that will be interesting to find yeah. out. Does chucking everything in there mean well, they're just going to pick whatever yeah. makes them happy, or are they eventually just bore of everything? And they went into quite a bit of detail about the blood ball. Oh my god, that pumpkin thing! So it's basically, I mean, I've seen it at zoos, uh, and we actually do it for our own dog. We'll freeze um, its dog food in in water uh, in in the summer when it's really hot because yes. it it cools him down. But he won't just chew on water or on ice, so you have to just put something in there for him. Yeah, just to clarify, our lovely little dog does not eat a pumpkin full of frozen blood. No, no, no. No, I bet he wishes (laughs) he does. He'd love that. So, But you see it at zoos a lot. Not unless somebody's appeared behind us. We haven't got one, buddy. No, there's no no pumpkin full of blood, love. Um, But it is a frozen pumpkin filled with frozen blood. Yes. And that tiger was very excited about it. Yeah, one thing I did notice... Is that cost? Uh, apologies. Is it just thirty dollars or thirty? Sim- it's not simoleons. Uh, it's I don't know dollars. What's the, it dollars. is just dollars. Yeah. So that cost thirty dollars, but that tiger demolished it. Yeah. That's quite an expensive treat for that is in essence one use. Is that? You've got quite a good point there. And do you need to place them daily? Well, that's. Will your zookeepers replace them for you? Yeah, if you put it down, or will they be replaced? Or is it auto-replacing? I don't know. So maybe because you've got that item in there, maybe it auto-replaces itself. It might do. I just thought that $30 for one item but Quite frankly, I think I could expensive. make a frozen pumpkin with blood inside for a lot less than $30. It worries me personally where you're getting blood from. Anyway, <laughs> so... What we were actually shown today is, uh, as I said a little bit earlier, is a scenario slightly further down the path than the one we saw at Gamescom. Now, they they turned off all of the uh, the clues and hints and, and, and the scripting that goes along with it, yeah. so we couldn't see what was going on. Uh, it's basically fix the park up, it's always going to be that. Um, but it was based, um, it was based on Savannah Zone, but it was an Indian zoo. Yeah, it was an Indian themed. Indian themed. Now, apparently, these placeables so the Indian theme is going to be available to us on beta. Yep. And give me your thoughts, Mister Creativity. On the Indian style, yeah. I thought it was fantastic. I it was so night and day to anything I've seen before. Loads of detail, wasn't there? Not just, I mean, the detail, everything I see from mm. these guys, the detail's incredible because they're just, they're art guys every time I've knocked it out of the park. Even the one we saw uh, at Gamescom. Yeah. You know, that was a very traditional standard zoo, looked incredible. Yeah. But it's the the variety, just the brightness, the... The it was street. In, oh, the street view, when you're walking down it, that, oh, it's so good. Also, those paths... I knew you were going to bring them up. You do love co- bright, colourful pathing. Yeah, but we didn't get that choice in Planko. Planko is like a wooden path or a tarmac path or a cobble path. Um, but that looked to be like a mosaic tile path. Uh, kind of, it was different patterns. I saw yeah. these three different patterns in that one sort of scenario zoo that we were looking at. Um, I, I love the rugs. I love the use of material. I will say, because I'm a traditionalist, so the one that they did at Gamescom, I was in in love with, that kind of thing. But what I really enjoyed was, one, the multi-layered... Very clever. ...of this suit. So you've basically got this large raised castle, for want of a better Mm. term, in the more temple, in the middle, and all of the animal, the big animal enclosures are around the outside. But it means your guests are walking up and over these enclosures and they had glass skylights looking down into mm. them. I love, uh, there was, um, actually talking about the Facebook group, there was a pictures in the Facebook group showing, uh, was it one where the tigers could walk above? That was earlier in the week. Yeah. Uh, no, that was a real zoo. Yeah, no, that's what but, I mean. Yeah. It was a real zoo. Yeah. We're walking, and now all of a sudden I'm thinking, oh God, we might actually be you able to do, do stuff that. like that. Yeah. And that, to me because all you need to think of is if you reverse that scenario that we've just seen and you put the monkeys on the top floor and the people on the bottom floor yeah because you can still put the fencing up on the top floor and the people can be looking up from the bottom yeah I, I, it's, it's the possibilities yeah. also you, going back to that traditional zoo that I really like now I can think 
Well, actually, I could. I know the the coloring on this map was it was all very it browns. Was stunning. On the as in yeah. the temples and that it was very brown. But I'm thinking I could make that green. I could go jungle foliage yeah. all around it and make like this ruined temple in a tiger. Well, enclosure. you just immediately said Indiana Jones. Didn't I, you? Straight away. Yeah. That's what I saw. Uh, that was the uh, the uh, crocodile. Yeah. I know the crocodile's not the correct term. What was no, the correct term? He is called the gorilla. That's the gorilla. The gorilla in Oh my god, that yeah. That blew me away when I saw that. Um, but I, I I also love those the statues that we saw because again yes. statues are a precious thing people love to be able to put those down and there was some absolutely beautiful ones that I think are obviously going to be standard so yeah. that'll be nice you know you've got those for those of you like me that aren't quite going to be able to immediately creatively think your brain like um, Grim here can uh, they're nice placeables that make yeah. you look good um, and one thing that I focused in on and you're going to laugh at me for this but the street lights. Now, the reason I saw them was because it triggered me because they <laughs> left the street lights when they'd put a fence down and then they'd put um, glass. So Is that the bit with the tiger enclosure? Yeah, it was the tiger yeah. enclosure. And they'd left the street lights in the middle of the viewing section, which to me was just ridiculously silly. <laughs> However, okay, when they zoomed in, the street lights were multicolored poles. Yeah. They look like something out of Willy detail. Wonka. They were amazing. I yeah. love the whole detail of that Indian street. The little put tuk tuk car. Yes. I hope we the, get the that. little like tea chests as well yeah. and stuff. I yeah, hope it was we amazing. Get that. The, the tea chests full of linens. Um, yeah. There was uh, like the linen hanging up. Yeah, it was like washing hanging up. Yeah. Uh, roll. There was rugs like rolled it, up. It felt like you yeah. were actually in a town. Yes. I don't know whether they were going for that. I mean, I'm not sure I've ever been to a zoo that feels like a town. But I tell you what, it was really stunning. That's I. I love. I think that. it was artistic. I love. Yeah. Well, I mean, we were shadowed mm. out. It was. Yeah. It was, it was absolutely amazing. Showing off that art style yeah. and, it, and it showed it off I mean fair play hands down that was fantastic and I was blown away I wasn't expecting that today it's actually really perked my afternoon up well I mean the, the, one of the things we spoke about at Gamescom was when are we going to see some more biomes when are we going to see yeah. or at least some more art style when are we going to see something different Not, um, we're not going to be one of those that are like oh it's never enough I'm not, no, uh, I'm not having that but just yeah something new it was and and it wasn't it's not so much the biome but it was the art style that we were yeah. looking for because we always seen to at that point was the same kind of art style there was only one other thing i wanted to mention go for it and it happens at the very start of the um the footage that they show us today and it shows us how to get the animal captured Yes, the poor little rhino walking around he why were they running from him he, he was gorgeous. a dozy bubbles he was yeah um and I hadn't seen it yet. Now, I know some people may have watched more of the YouTube footage um, that was put up from Gamescom. I, I saw lots of it, but yeah. I didn't see this um, because I think quite often it might have been missed. But the vet actually tranquilizes the animal and the animal drops to the ground. Yeah. And then it goes into the box. I actually thought, and I was a little disappointed by it because I actually thought, oh, the vet walks near it. Ta-da, some magical sparkles happen. It's in a box and then they run it back to the uh, enclosure. But actually, you definitely see this, this rhino being downed by a tranquilizer dart yeah. and then he goes into the magic box. And that, I, I can actually forgive that. I, my realism is quite happy with that. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he should be running along with this tiny little box that like crazy. I mean, go, it does look a bit odd when they're running along really fast. I'm impressed. Boxes. I mean, they said in the, the video it was, what, 2,000 odd kilograms, which is two tons of... That's quite heavy, right? It's pretty heavy. And the guys are carrying it in a tiny box. Yeah. I mean, fair play. He doesn't look like he's struggling. I'm at gonna, all. all I'm going to say is your gym fitness program. Yeah. A plus. Clearly, Frontier's fitness program for its. Uh, Very employees. impressive. Yep. Yep. Um, lots. I was dead excited by this today. Uh, yeah, considering, as I say, we were going to do the monthly roundup yeah. for August. And That's then actually they... what we were doing. We were here this morning and it was the conversation was going to do that monthly roundup. And then I got a message from you saying they're going to go live in 20 yeah, minutes time. I, I didn't even know. It I literally know. came up with the premiere, the premiere thing for YouTube saying they're about to go live. Do you want to watch? I was like, uh, yeah. Yeah. So thanks for that. Yep. And yeah. thank you for, for listening. Absolutely. Thank you for listening. And do you know what? I've got a countdown, but it's getting closer, people. We're into September. We're into September. A couple of weeks and we're going to be in there. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, everyone. Bye. Bye.